In this demo, we will take a look at Azure AD Password Reset. Okay, we're logged on to the Azure portal once again, portal.azure.com, home page. Okay, and we're going to come right back under Azure Services and Azure Active Directory. Okay, and once again, under the Manage section, okay, we're going to scroll down a little bit, and we're going to see Password Reset. Okay, so we're going to select that first. Okay, and it gives us a little synopsis here. Okay, which is always enabled for the administrators, but remember the idea here is we're going to enable it for the regular users to where they can use the company portal and do a self service password reset. Okay, now we can do selected users and groups, or we could just say all, you know, whatever, however we feel appropriate for our environment. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do all for simplicity here, and then we're going to save that setting. Okay, now, from there, okay, we'll see it was successful. Okay, we just kind of work our way down. Okay, so we're going to come to authentication methods next. Okay, and you'll see number of methods required to reset. And of course, we have the little I there for information. Okay, we can say one or two. Methods available to users. Okay, mobile app code, email, mobile phone, office phone, security questions. Okay, now, if we did security questions, we want to know how many questions we're going to ask the individual. Okay, and you know, depending on how many, you know, how stringent you want to be, okay, five is recommended. Okay, but you know, the idea behind it, however you feel appropriate. Okay, so number of questions required to register, number of questions required to reset. And at this point, you would come in and select what questions, and you can do predefined ones, or you can even customize your questions. Okay, so whatever you feel appropriate, but here are some of the predefined security questions that we can provide. Okay, so just depending on what you're looking for here. Okay, so let's say in what city was your first job? Okay, uh, from there we'll do in what city was your mother born? Okay, and then from there, let's see, what is your favorite food? Okay, now we can scroll down. There's many, I'm just picking some at random here, but you got a significant amount of questions that you can ask here. Okay, and you know, just depending on how you want to set it up, of course. Okay, so you don't have to use the security questions, but they would be ideal. Okay, so you come in and you configure what methods are available to your users. Once you feel like you've got it configured accordingly, we save it. Okay, now from there we go to registration. Okay, require users to register when signing in. Okay, and you give them a certain amount of days to register. Okay, and whether you want to do yes or no here. Okay, now from there we can also provide notifications. Okay, notify users on password resets. Notify all admins when other admins reset their passwords. Okay, so whether you want notifications or not. Okay, and then from there, you can do customizations as well. Okay, help desk links and things like that, which is always a good idea, just in case they do run into an issue. Okay, so you can always come in and clarify the URL if need be. Okay, and then if we do have AD Connect configured, we can come in and configure the password right back. Okay, now remember that's where you were doing on-prem and off-prem. Okay, and that's where we can have the password reset work for the users to where they can log on to Azure, reset their password, and then it will synchronize back to ADDS. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and minimize Azure here, and I'm going to bring up one of the clients on the virtual machine to see their end of the password reset. Okay, so they would come into the portal. Okay, and then they would just come straight to my profile. Okay, so at this point we see my account here. Okay, you'll see change password. 
Okay, so if we select that, it brings up the self-service password change. Okay, so at that point I can type in my old password, my new password. Okay, and then from there I would be prompted with the security questions. All right, now I'm not really going to change my password. Just wanted to kind of demonstrate how we would set it up in Azure AD and then where the client would go to reset the password with the Azure AD self-service password reset option. All right, and that is Azure AD self-service password reset.